Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel, Flippin' Hippos. So, I promised you guys a haul video, so this is going to be a haul video. Today is Thursday, May 10th. We went out last Sunday for these items um, on 99 cents day. We went to three different Goodwills. If you watched my vlog on Tuesday, then you know our local honeypot thrift will be closed on Saturdays for the month of May for renovation. So we're down to, um, we have to go to as many Goodwills as we can on Sundays to get as many clothes as we can for 99 cents, which is fine. We love going, 99 cents day is great. So we went to three different stores on Sunday and we spent close to like $300. We have bags and bags and bags and bags of stuff. Um, so I just selected out like some of the highlights, I guess, and things I just wanted to show you that maybe are bolos. We are going to start with my plushies. Um, I got a lot of plush. I got a lot. Um, I think I've told you guys in, a, in another video, um, the one Goodwill has a buggy where they're like three for a dollar. Um, and then the other Goodwills don't have that but they have really good prices on most of their plush and for what I know I can get it get for them sometimes I'll pay up to two dollars for a plush um, I would rather pay 30 cents or 50 cents but they do go first class and some of these I know I can ask for 15 to 20 dollars for or more in some instances so um, if you're just learning plush, I would recommend actually comping while you're in the store if you're going to spend $2 on a plush. Anything more than a dollar, um, get used to it, comp them, and see what you think. Um, I find like the same plushie sometimes that I've already sold, so I know well, that's a given. And just plushies was like my favorite thing to flip from the beginning. I like it more than clothes, I like it more than anything else, and I know my plush, so I know when I should be paying $2 and when I shouldn't. I also ask for a little bit more on mine sometimes than other people and I'm willing to sit on them to get that price because I know I can. So that being said, let's look at some of the plush I picked out. Um, the pink tag was half off and the yellow tag was 99 cents. So this was just 99 cents. I don't know if you can see that. And it's a Scooby-Doo. It's just a small little Scooby-Doo. I'll probably... Um, I'll probably, he's a TY, so most likely he's going to be like a $12 plush, just being TY, um, but maybe 15 so I'll have to comp him and see, but it's no different than paying $0.99 cents for a men's shirt that you're going to flip for 12 and it even weighs less. This is a, uh, whoop, stuff has fallen. This guy is so cute. This is Dumbo. I have not flipped this particular Dumbo. I have flipped different Dumbos in the past. And we always get like 18 20 bucks for them. This one actually has Disney, like, branded on his tush. He's an official Disney plush. He's a larger one. Very, very soft. So I did pay $2 for him. You guys, I'm going to make a confession. I'm not even sure which princess this is. But these Disney princess dolls, they're like typically 15 to 18 inches, do well. I've had, um, see, I had two boys, so I'm not that great with the Disney princesses. Um, the princess from the frog, <laughs> the frog movie. What, the, what is that even called? It, it was their version of the um, frog prince. I want to say her name was Tiara. You know, I had a doll like this of her, and I got 18 for that. And I have a Rapunzel in the store right now from Twisted, who I think she's up for 12 or 15. This one, I don't know which princess she is. Please don't make fun of me. I did raise two boys. I can name every single Marvel character. <laughs> Just can't do the Disney princess. But if you know who she is, leave a comment and let me know. Anyway, I did pay $2 for her because she is so super cool. Watch this, wait, wait for it. She's reversible, oh my God. Isn't that cool? Isn't that awesome? That is like so cool. So she has on like this dress or this dress and her hair is different. Um, yeah, so I paid two for her because the reversible is just so super cool. Then we have 
I paid $1.99 for him. He is a little larger, or she, I should say, because this is Dory. This is Dory. It's a larger Dory. She also has like a Disney mark on her tush. Do fish have tushes? Do fish have butts? I don't know, but that's her tush. And she is a Disney, so I did pay two for her. Um, this one is also an official Disney Winnie the Pooh. I don't even see his price tag. It must have come off in the bag. Um, no, he came out of the buggy. He came out of the buggy. So I paid 30 cents for him, but he's like a little coin purse. Um, and he has a strap, so you can carry him around like a bag. And since he was 30 cents and he was official Disney and he's not just a normal run-of-the-mill plush, he's like a purse. Oh, he was a no-brainer to pick up. And then, um, I got two of these guys. They're, um, NASCAR. This one's number 10. I don't, uh, know who that driver is. Maybe it's, but they're official NASCAR. I just figured they'd be worth something. Um, they came out of the buggy as well, so they were 30 cents a piece. So, I mean, for 30 cents, I'll try anything, right? And they are official NASCAR, and I figured fire trucks. I can't. Can you see that? There you go. For 30 cents a piece, I figure I'll try them. Let's see what happens. You guys remember Clifford, the big red dog? This is a pretty larger one. He's pretty big. Um, he's a Coles Cares. So Coles Cares plush does well. It doesn't always flip for a lot of money. A lot of it depends on um, what character the plushie is. I think the lowest I've ever gotten for a Coles Cares or asked for and gotten full, full asking price was like 12. Um, but they can go up to 30 depending on what they are. We had the little critter, brother and sister, Coles Cares. We found at a yard sale last year. And we sold them together for like 40. So, and it floats fast though. So even if you wind up with the Coles Cares animal that comps at like 12, it'll go usually before the month is up and you have to relist it. And the best part was he was only 99 cents. I often wonder like, about the pricing at Goodwills. Because I've seen like small, small Scooby Doo's like this that were marked for $4.99. And then you've got this giant Clifford for 99 cents. I think it's just arbitrarily whoever's pricing items that day. Don't mind the Armageddon going on outside my window. If you hear all the sirens, we do live right up the street from the fire hall and the police department, which are right next to each other. They're about a block up the road, the opposite way of our post office, which is a block the other way. We do live in a very small town, very small suburb outside of Pittsburgh. And since we've moved our eBay room back down to this floor, my window's on Main Street. So you're probably, unfortunately, gonna hear a lot more sirens and stuff. Maybe even one day you'll get to hear the whistle. Our fire hall still has that whistle that sounds like um, the air raids from World War II. But you will hear less trains because the back of the house is where the trains were and when we were upstairs, we were that way. Sorry, I, I digress. Tangent. These are cool. So this is Bart Simpson in his little superhero costume. He's an official. He's an official Simpsons plush, and he was 99 cents. And then they had Homer, and his, I'm really tempted to keep these. We like the Simpsons, and these are cute. He was also 99 cents, if you can see that. Official Simpsons. And Giant Bart. Giant Bart. He's just a plain Bart. He's not a superhero. He's in his typical clothing from the show. But he's big. And he was he was $1.99. I did pay $1.99 for this one. But 
it's Bart Simpson. It's officially licensed 20th Century Fox plush, and it's larger. Um, you can't ask for more. The bigger the stuffed animal is, the more money you can ask for. And then this is just an Angry Bird, Star Wars Angry Birds. This is one of the Stormtroopers, who's also a pig, I think. And that's an official Angry Bird Star Wars. So yeah, I always look at that. I always look at these little tush tags and make sure that they're official um, Disney, Di Walt Disney World, Disney Store, or like this says Simpsons. Um, I, I don't recommend buying brands that are generic especially because you can get hit with um you can get hit with having to take it down if it's like a generic Bart Simpson um but you can also ask for more money when they're official and when they have the actual brand on them so always check their tushy tags um and just make sure that what you're getting is authentic so I got some more plush but those were like the highlights of my plushies this week I'm going to save the most exciting two things for last. And I'm just going to show you quickly. Um, I grabbed like a handful of exciting and bread and butter. Just so you guys can see that we don't always get exciting things. I want you to see our normal bread and butter stuff that we get too. Um, these are Lucky Brand jeans. They got the pockets. That's what you want to check for on Lucky. They always have the pockets on the inside. And then you want to check the fly. Because the zipper will be a shamrock. And it always says Lucky You or Lucky Me on the fly. Depending on... I think it... I think what I learned about that was if they sell them in the outlets, they say Lucky Me. If they're at the mall, they're Lucky You. Or maybe I have it mixed up. But just make sure it says one or the other in the fly. Look for the shamrock zipper. Make sure the inner pockets. Sometimes these are black. They're not always red. And I usually ask for about $25 for my Lucky brand. Um, these have distress on them, which believe it or not, any jeans flipper will tell you. Having distress or um, rips and tears in the jeans sometimes makes them worth more money or go faster. This was a pink tag, so I did pay $3.50, but into $25, I'm okay with that. Let's see. I found another pair. Five. See, this is back to the, I wonder who does the pricing at the Goodwills. These came from the same Goodwill. They were on the rack right next to each other. They're both Lucky Brand, but one was marked $6.99 to start, and this one was $4.99. So I paid $2.50 for these. $2.50 into $25 all day long. So I checked them. They have the Lucky You. They have the Shamrock. Oh, and these ones are yellow. So I guess they come in all different colors, depending on the style or whatever. And these aren't distressed or fancy, but for $2.50, heck yeah. That's one of the special ones I want to show you last. Okay, I did find a pair of my favorites. See them? These are silver jeans. Um, I found actually one pair at the first Goodwill we went to. I have looked all through the bags and I cannot find them. When we go to sort them and do laundry, I know I'll run into them. Um, I didn't want to waste too much time before I filmed this. So, I did get a pair at the first Goodwill for $6.99 and these ones were $6.99. I do pay $7 for silver jeans all day long and I found a second pair that was the pink tag so I did pick up two pairs for seven, one pair for $3.50 and um, all day long I'll pay seven. I Depending on the style, I typically get between 35 to 45 for my silvers, and they usually flip within a month. So, all day long, I'll pay seven. I got these because they were 99 cents. You can see the yellow tag, just because they were neat. I mean, they're just Old Navy. They are just Old Navy, but they're a size 16, which is a larger size. 
which tend to go faster. And just the pink paisley pattern. Um, I really just bought these for the graphics. They're shorts, warmer weather is upon us. And right next to them was this pair. Um, these are Liz Claiborne. They're a size 14, still a good size. 99 cents. And they were also pink with paisleys. So yeah, sometimes I pick up stuff just because the design attracts me. Um, oh, there's another little plushie hidden under here. But yeah, sometimes I just pick up because of the design. If the design attracts me, it's going to attract someone else. Even if I think it's ugly. If the design draws my eye, it is going to draw someone else's eye. If something is attractive to me, there's got to be at least one other person in the world that finds it attractive. So sometimes I just pick up for that. And you will hear a lot of resellers tell you that ugly sells and ugly sells. So if something is ugly, if something is hideous, and it's 99 cents, I'm going to buy it because it's going to sell because ugly sells. True story. This is just a run-of-the-mill brand that I do really well with. I, um, depending on the style and what they look like and their size, um, those, all those factors that come in, I asked for 20 to $25 for this brand of jeans. More often I get 20 but if they're like a bigger brand or they have distress and sometimes they have these fancy flip, these embellished flip pockets in the back, I'll try to like 22 50 or something. Um, these are, this is a brand I don't even comp anymore and I know that I said in how to list faster on eBay, that video that I made, I said that eventually you'll get confident enough, especially if you do the same types of items and brands over and over again, you get to where you don't have to comp every item, you can comp off of your own stuff in your store and then you start to memorize it too. And you just have to be careful, like I said in that video, and once every two to three months, just look it up again, recomp it, make sure that the price hasn't gone up or down for all the various reasons it will in this market. Um, you just, you know, once every couple of months, just double check, make sure that, you know, you're on target. And then for like two or three months, you can list at that price. Um, I hope I'm making sense. So the Rock and Republic jeans. Like I said, I know I want 20 for them typically. I take other things into account, larger sizes, fancy pockets, distress, and I'll go up a couple bucks or all the way up to 25 sometimes. Um, but then I'll recomp them every three months and just make sure that the, there hasn't been a race to the bottom and the price is tanked so mine aren't sitting there not selling because they're too high. Or sometimes the prices go up. I comped American Eagle jeans probably like two weeks ago and I typically just start them at 20. And I comped the American Eagle jeans, and I went through the solds, and I saw a ton that were going for 25 So, um, and then that way you get more money. So you don't want stuff sitting in the store that's priced too high, but you don't want to price too low either because then you're missing out. So if you're going to get to the point where you have your comps memorized or you comp from yourself, just double check yourself once in a while. Another tangent. <laughs> so this is the yellow tag. And these are Rock and Republic. And this one I picked up because of that. You all see it? I don't know if you can see it. Well, poop. Can you see it? It's Pendleton. And it was a dollar. And it's a weird, it's a skirt. It's a maxi skirt. And it's got a cool design. So I picked that up for sure. Here's a little plush that was hiding under the clothes. He came out of the, the buggy. Now he's going to need a little bit of work. You can see some fuzzies on his head. And his, his coat there. He's got some fuzzies. I'm going to have to like lint roll him. And maybe like take a sweater shaver to certain parts like the felt here but for 30 cents for a Mickey Mouse who Bob Cratchit so he's a character from a movie a Mickey Mouse movie where he played Bob Cratchit 
Can you see that? Man. There you go, kind of. And it's Disney. So I figured for 30 cents, he's a specialty Mickey. He's not just a run of the mill Mickey, he's a specialty Mickey. And he's Disney, authentic. Um, for 30 cents, I will take the time to lint roll him. But it's fine. So, the two most exciting things of the day. My favorites. You guys know, I say I will pay $7 for these all day long, right? And typically I do pay full price for these because these aren't jeans that last when they're Goodwill. They don't sit on the rack long enough to go down to the half price, let alone the 99 cents. Once in a while I luck out, twice ever I have found a pair for half off. Yellow. Guess what I paid for this pair? 99 cents. So whatever I get for this pair, this particular style, um, I will end up with five dollars more of profit than I normally would, give or take a little bit. So that was exciting. But what's even more exciting than that? Dun da da. -da. Dun, da, da, da. You see those? Do you guys recognize that? Do you know what those are? Those are Miss Me jeans. Do you see the collar of the tag? So, the one Goodwill that we go to keeps their Miss Me jeans up front in the display cases. One time I found a pair that was the half off collar and I ended up paying like nine or ten dollars for them but I got like 60 so it was it was cool it was cool to pay that much so I check their um, display case every week just in case um, typically the miss me jeans are priced at like 20 to 40 in that case but again with the arbitrarily pricing and whoever's doing it that day I don't know I've seen them as low as 10 and 15 and sometimes I'll pick them up for 10 or 15 because you can flip them for 50 to 60 depending um, and twice I found them half off. So that was cool. But yo. And I even asked the girl. I said. Can I see those Miss Me jeans? She put them on the counter. And I said. Are these really 99 cents? And she's like yeah all yellow tags. And I'm like yeah but. How do Miss Me jeans. Sit long enough to go to 99 cents. Like why didn't they sell last week when they would have been 12.50? I don't know. But it's good for us cuz that is an awesome awesome find for 99 cents. So there's a lot of ways to tell um if your Goodwill knows what they're doing or not. You can tell by like like the Goodwill that has these in the counter and they start at like 25, 20. You know they know what they're doing. Um there's one Goodwill you could find Miss Me's on the racks priced at the $6.99 like the Silvers. So you just have to be diligent and look. And don't be afraid to look in that display case up front because like I said, I found a pair of Miss Me jeans in the display case that was marked down to the $0.99 cents, and I have found two in the past that were half off. So don't let it intimidate you that it's special or you know it's going to be a high price because sometimes it's half off. Sometimes somebody else priced it and what would normally be 25 is now only 10 and if you can flip it for 60 it's worth it, right? So, um, you guys, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, do me a favor, smash the like button if you would. I appreciate that. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to our channel and help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We are at Flippin' Hippos. Until next time, you guys have a good night.